This is Steve Greer here with netbookscoop.com and what I've got sitting in front of me is the Toshiba Mini NB205. We just recently got this in today and I've been eagerly waiting to get my hands on this. This is definitely one of the most popular netbooks on the market uh, today. So as you can see here, we've got the box factory sealed. This is a frost white model. As you can see down here on the label, um, it actually doesn't tell you the, the color of the model, but it's the MB205 N311. Um, you know, got your typical Intel Atom N280 processor. But uh, let's go ahead and dig into this and see what we've got inside of the contents. I can get the box to open here. Just have it pull out. All right. As we open the box, you can see here it looks like the netbook is sitting right on top. Let's go ahead and, and pull the netbook out first and put it to the side. Then we've got inside here your typical cardboard packaging. Um, Looks like we've got our power cable right over here, and then we've got our power brick. There's not much else in here except for our software and manuals. Let me put the box over here. So we've got our quick start guide that Toshiba hands us. Um, looks like a little flyer and some more product information. And I'm not sure what's in here. Probably our it's got our instruction manual and hopefully a, a CD with Windows XP on it. So let's go ahead and open up the netbook. Uh, here we've got our frost white. We've got our typical netbook packaging. Our little pouch here. As you can see, the mb 205 has got the uh, glossy screen. Uh, we've got the new island style keyboard which is sort of like the chiclet but one of the big difference between the chiclet style and the island is the island's got more spacing between the keys. Um, one of the biggest nice features on the MB205 is the bigger touchpad and your two button mouse. Um, this, is, this is a good size especially for a netbook. Um, of course on the top here we've got our uh, 1.3 megapixel webcam as you can see, uh, it's got a nice, I don't know if you can see from, from this angle here, but it's got a nice uh, diagonal kind of grain uh, built into the netbook top. It gives it a little bit of a glossy finish, but no fingerprints, which is very nice because a lot of the newer netbooks, uh, especially the Asus EEE PCs, the 1008, 1005 HAs are very fingerprint. Um, on the back, we've got our six cell battery. It's already plugged in. Um, on top here, you can see your, your power button is, is right here in the center. Um, if we look in the side, we've got our VGA out, and of course we've got our mic and our headphones, your typical 10-100 uh, Ethernet port, and a USB on this side. Up front on the netbook, we've got our, our SD card reader and our power LEDs here. Looks like your hard drive lights, your power lights. Um, charging and some other things there. And, and then on the left hand side we've got our typical two USB ports and then our power, where we're plugging our power adapter. It looks like we've actually got a key lock on here so you can lock up uh, your laptop if you leave it at a workstation. And going back into the netbook here, you can see it's got the silver, the nice chrome uh, bar here um, and of course your power button. So this is the unboxing of the Toshiba MB205. It's a nice laptop. It's got some weight to it, a little bit uh, heavier than like the N120 or the 1008 HA, but it's uh, very small. Um, it's got a nice look, very professional. Um, check back here soon because we will be doing a review on how it performs and comparing it to some of the other netbooks. Thanks for viewing.